In this video, we're going to look at a question in which it came up on CCA's topic questions for their hypothesis testing, which is for the A22 module. Now, this comes up quite a bit in our in their uh, topic questions for this uh, subject, this topic, but I don't think it should actually be asked uh, on the exam. So I think this is maybe they've used question from an old specifications and it doesn't quite line up with the new specifications and I'll show you why that is in a minute. First part of the question, uh, and I'm just going to show you their mark scheme for the answer. It says, Ex explain clearly the meaning of the term alternative hypothesis. So the, the mark scheme here, it says, an alternative hypothesis is a statement believed, uh, sorry, a statement declaring the situation, a situation uh, believed to be true should the null hypothesis not be true. So it's basically what you think is true. Uh, and then that's what you, the whole idea of this testing is that you're trying to test and prove that it is true. Okay. Now the next bit says, part two, says a local newspaper declared in an article that on average teenagers watch 25 hours of television per week. The statistics, uh, the statistics class in a school decided to test whether or not that was true. They carried out a survey within their school asking pupils about the amount of television uh, watching X hours they did per week. The results are summarized as follows. So you've got N is 50, Sigma X is 100, sorry, 1,285. And sigma x squared is 33,183. And it says test the claim at a 5% level. Okay, now, why I don't think this is going to be asked is it because of this. So this is from CCA's elaboration document. Now, this may well uh, be all right on another exam board, edXL or AQ, AQA or whatever we else we have, uh, OCR. Um, uh, but uh, for CIA, I don't think it should be. So for and this is for their uh, CCA's elaboration document, and it says uh, statistic, statistical hypothesis testing. So students should be able to conduct a statistical hypothesis test for uh, for the mean of a normal distribution with no one uh, given or assumed variance. So that's not the case here. We're going to have to <coughs> calculate the calculate the variance. Okay, but we can calculate this variance in actual fact this uh, came up and should have come up in most people's AS notes. So what you've got here in this question, you've got basically a sample, a sample of 50 people. So <coughs> from that sample, from your AS notes, you should, you should know that a good estimator of the actual mean is just uh, sigma x over n and a good estimator of the population, the whole population uh, variance is S squared, which is equal to one over uh, N minus one upon sigma of X squared and minus uh, sigma, X, uh, sigma X squared over N. So this is very similar to the actual whole population. If you already had a whole population, you would say sigma squared is equal to, so that's the actual variance is equal to, oops, all right, I'm gonna do the wrong thing. It's gonna be, uh, sigma x squared over n and then minus and it was be sigma uh, x over n and that is squared so they're fairly similar so this one here this one here is if you have the whole population and uh, you have the whole population not the one in blue is what you would use to find an estimate for the whole population sorry that's how you would find the whole population variance and this one in red is if you don't have the whole population, but you're in a situation like we are here, where you've got a sample, then this thing here is the best estimate you have of the whole um, population's variance. Okay, so that's what we're gonna use. So I'm gonna go through this question now, <coughs> as I would do it uh, myself. So I'm gonna put up, first of all, the, the mark scheme there, mark scheme for this question, because I they use uh, the critical regions. I don't like the critical regions, so if there's a, a, an option, uh, if it allows me to do it without using the critical regions, that's what I would do. So there's their mark scheme. You can pause that and have a look at it. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it, <coughs> but um, I prefer a different method. So my method here, let's read the question again. Local newspaper declared in an article that on average, teenagers watch, watch 25 hours of television a week. Statistics class in school decided to test whether or not that was true. They carried out a survey within their school asking about the amount of television watching X hours they did. So the results were N is 50, Sigma X is 1,285, Sigma X squared is uh, 33,185. And you had to test this at a 5% level. Okay, again, the best estimate we have for the mean then 
uh, sorry, we can find them, the mean, the, they think the mean is uh, 25 hours. So that's what they think mu is equal to. That's our original mu, that's what they think it is. But we actually have calculated a different thing. So we find that x bar in this particular thing is sigma x over n. So 1,285 over 50, which is 25.7. And then this is a bit that's going to confuse people. This is our uh, estimator. So this thing here is what we use. This is our estimator then of the whole population. And this is the best we can do. And again, this is a bit I don't think CA are going to ask because of their elaboration document. So uh, S squared, which is the best estimate we have of the uh, whole population variance would be one over n minus one. So our n is 50, so 50 minus one is 49. So one over 49. And then uh, our sigma x squared was 33,183. Sigma x was 1,085, and that gets squared over 50. And you bang that into your calculator, you get s squared is equal to, comes out perfectly as 317 over 98. Square root that then to get your uh, best estimator of your standard deviation. Remember, standard deviation is the square root of variance. And the four DPs I give this. Now, they only work to three DPs or three sig figs in their, in their mark scheme. But just because you can in these new calculators, why not? Okay, so that's what we've got. We've got uh, H0, your null hypothesis, is that the, the default is just is, is true. So that they had suggested it was 20, the magazine or whatever it was had suggested it was 25. And you're thinking, I don't, I don't think it is. So that's why it's uh, H1, your alternative hypothesis, is the mean is not 25. So it's a two-tailed test at 5%, which means if it's 5% in total, that means 2.5% goes at one end and 2.5% goes at the other end. So that's why we've labeled those in decimal form. 2.5% is 0 0.025, and that goes at each end. Okay, your set of your means, they are also for, form a normal distribution. So x bar is distributed with a normal distribution, mean mu, and its variance, instead of being sigma squared, is sigma squared over m. And you've worked that out. So that's uh, x bar your, is distributed with mean uh, of 25, because you're assuming that's what you're assuming to be true there. That was your H0. So you're assuming that to be true. So we're trying to prove that otherwise. And then your sigma, we worked out to be 1.7985. That gets squared. And then that's over 50. So I'll write that down again, i.e. That means your mean is 25. Your sigma squared is this. And write this line down, because this is a bit people get it wrong when we're putting this in. If sigma squared equals that, sigma equals the square root of the top line, which is just 1.7985 without the square, and then the square root of the bottom line, which is root 50. Okay. What we want to do in this question is we want to see what the probability, because we're doing x bar is greater than or equal to, greater than, sorry, uh, 25.7, because if you think about what, what the mean was, the mean was 25, so 25.7 is either going to be here or it's going to be here. And if it's that second one there, if it's in there, then it's in the critical value, then we would know to reject our H0. Okay, but we'll just have to wait and see uh, what way this plays out. Okay, so we'll get rid of all that and just see what happens. So... We're the one to find this, and again, you can do this on the new modern class, Casio class whiz calculators, the white ones, the white one with the white case, or the very good brown ones. So using the normal CD mode on it, and then your lower bound, because we want to remember this bit here uh, in yellow, uh, this bit here, I'm just, I'm just rubbing out. Uh, that's what we're looking for. I'll do it in blue even, that we can see it. Uh, this bit here, that's what we're looking for. So in your normal CD, your lower value is 25.7. Your upper value is infinity, basically. But just do that as, as good enough to do it in the calculator as upper value is 9 times 10 to the power of 99. Your sigma is this thing, remember, over here. So how you do that on the calculator is just do sigma equals 1.7985 divided by the square root of 50, and then your mu is 25. Bang those things all into your normal CD bit on your Casio class was calculator, so let's go through how we do that. I hit uh, mode, 
And then on the Casio Classway is a good one. Uh, you hit seven, and that's the distributions, hit seven. And then you go to normal CD, and then your lower, you put in 25.7, your upper, you do nine times 10 to the 99, your sigma, just punch in what I've done there, 1.7985 divided by square root of 50, and then your mu, put in 25, and then press equals. And what I got was 2.960 times 10 to the minus three. So write that as a decimal, 0 0.00296. And that is, that is like 0.2 of a percent, 0.296 of a percent. So that is way less than uh, two and a half percent. So that means it's in the critical value. So what that means, if you imagine, that's where 20, what was it, 25.7, it would have been in here somewhere. So it's in the critical value. So that's really why it is. So it's in the critical value. And then you just write your wee spiel at the end that says, in the critical region, i.e. evidence, and that's what my horrible scroll says there, i.e. evidence at 5% level to reject H0 in favor of uh, H1. And then write it back in context of the question, i.e. evidence to suggest average viewing time is not 25 hours. And that is it, done.